What is up, everybody? Solomon here. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. As some of you may know, uh, Genfinity's Lighthouse Report is sponsored by Hedera Hashraf. And within our Hedera Corner, we are trying to nail out as many interviews with projects building out in the Hedera ecosystem on the Hedera Network as possible. Today, I am super excited and honored to be able to speak with Bones. Uh, OG and the Hedera ecosystem started H Barmery. Um, now it is Pixeland and fantastic. They actually just minted out of Numskulls as well. Uh, as normally, uh, what we do within these is we try to ask 10 questions, which never works, uh, get 10 answers uh, in under 10 minutes. So we're going to let this fly and see how it goes. But Bones, it is a pleasure to have you here. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for having us on. Definitely, uh, you know, first time caller, long time listener situation. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely tuning in. A hundred percent. So, I mean, I always like to kick these off right away. So can you describe, um, describe, I guess, the the maybe a little bit about H. Barmery, the transition to Pixeland and the Numbskulls Mint. And uh, yeah, just describe your project in general. Yeah, so we started last year. Uh, really kicking off with with the initial like entry into Hedera NFTs, right? So that's back in the days of of Zact and you know really no you know no uh, it's kind of the wild west of Hedera NFTs, right? We didn't really know what was going on, and at the time it was kind of, for me it was I wanted to get involved in the ecosystem. I wasn't sure you know how to do that, whether it be like through coding or, or NFTs or whatever. I just knew that like Hedera, I was passionate about it. I liked. I liked what I was reading. And so I jumped in to NFTs and uh, really started learning it through that. Um, and, and that was how our project started. And it's kind of funny in a way of uh, honestly, how I got started in pixel art was I was just making art on my phone with uh, pixel studio pro. And I'm like posting them online. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, Hey, check it out, you know, whatever. And people were like, dude, how do I pick that up? You know, I, I'd buy that. And so, and that was literally like, it's, a hundred percent just that was how what started i'm like oh shit well i'll i'll just launch an, an nft project and we'll make these and, and kind of move forward and it now it's just you know <laughs> we're a year later at this point like we and, and the idea of it is uh to take age barmery which was kind of our, our grassroots like how we started project and, and kind of blow it up into pixel and pixel and for me um is just you know, I want to express myself in, in a bunch of different ways. I'm learning as an artist. I'm I'm extremely ADHD person. I have all these ideas. You know what I mean? So it it felt like with the H Barmery brand, we were kind of uh, siloed a little bit into into that. And it's it's not that that's necessarily a bad thing. We still have tons of plans for for that as well. But Pixeland for us is like an encompassing project for essentially everything that we want to do pixel art related and just and just go crazy. And Numbskulls was really you know, my, I guess my, my thought into, you know, what are we going to drop? My name's Bones. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Halloween's coming up. I'm huge on Halloween. And and I really just started doodling these numbskulls. And the further I got into it, the more I kind of became obsessed with it, right? That's how I am. I, I start to get a little, a little taste of something and I just kind of go crazy on it. So I just felt like, Hey, this is, this is something we had to do. And it would really be a cool first drop for us. And uh, and we just rolled with it, man. And and again, it was a similar thing where I kind of started posting these pictures to our holders, saying, "Hey, you know, we're we're really thinking about moving into uh, making this numbskulls project at the time, which wasn't numbskulls, but the skeleton project." You know, we called everyone was like, "Oh, the skeleton project," and uh, you know, and everyone's like, "Dude, these are sick." So, and I just kind of that's kind of how I I do a lot of stuff. Like we do have a a lot of OGH Barmery holders, and we communicate with them privately in Discord and stuff. And I'll post I'll post you know, sneak peeks of work and get people's opinion on things. So we, we do a lot of stuff, uh, you know, very close in the community, at least with like a lot of the, the, the OG holders. And uh, yeah, I hope I'm not rambling or going, going. Into no, 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 no. This is an open forum, dude. I mean, this is, this is kind of just, this is what this is all about. So yeah, I'm happy to have you um, just literally give a re uh, an honest and transparent answer, which is, you know, this is why I let people kind of, flush out, you know, all these questions in their own head, because it totally makes sense. You know, the next one that I have is, you know, it's really about why are you building in web three, but you and I were talking previous to this. It's kind of like, it's an interesting question to almost ask anybody. Um, why are you here? Why are you still here? And I think that we all have synergy in saying that we've all kind of got the bug. And once you get the bug, you can't get rid of it. 
Um, so I'm going to rephrase the question and ask you, uh, I mean, number one, why are you, you know, why are you building in this space? But number two, uh, do you have history as an artist? Were you an artist prior to launching NFTs? And what did that look like for you? Because I think it's an interesting origin story um, that really showcases that anybody can can try to build out, you know, as an art based collection in Web3. Yeah, so I mean, when we first started, again, last October was I had, if I if you asked me in July of you know, of last year, I'd be like, dude, no, I, I'm not an artist. You know, I have no, I have no idea. And, and really I just picked up pixel art one because I'm, I'm an OG gamer, you know, I play, I've had every damn video console, every video game console. I've been playing games forever. And I, I really have a, a, a love for that uh, old style art. So when I first started in pixel art, it was on my phone. I was just making random stuff. And dude, I mean, I was, I would like, <laughs> I would show show people I'm like, dude, this is trash. Like, no one's gonna like this. You know what I mean? And uh, I even still, I have like an, an old the old stuff that I did on my phone, and and I'm gonna drop them, but it's gonna be it's gonna be embarrassing. But I want to get it out there because it's like how it how it started off. But yep. um, I I know, man. I I had no experience as an artist, and I I really caught the bug of of one crypto uh last last year and the year prior, but two was the the pixel art bug man i mean it, for me it just kind of encompassed everything that i wanted to do i could be creative it gave me an outlet um i i really enjoy the aspect of like creating something that's for for me it's challenging because you know art's not for me it's not easy <laughs> you know you, i think of something in my head like hey i would like to do this or i see something that's inspiring and i try to mimic it um it, like mimic it and create it in my own way right and then it's it, it's always like a a, a problems versus like solutions type thing for me with with art and then i mean the fun part about that is right when you solve a problem and you learn how to do something and, and you you like the way that it looks and, and it's rewarding it's like okay well now i know how to do that and so i i don't know it's kind of an odd way to explain it but it really for me is almost like a expression in a way where i get to express myself but it's also a, a problem solving thing too if that makes sense totally and i think the great thing within that um especially from I mean, this is more of a question than just giving you an answer. Uh, but it's like, you know, as in as somebody that historically hasn't been an artist that has learned how to problem solve to be able to build out, you know, solutions that, that work for them within, you know, an art um, an art platform. I'm, I'm imagining that once you solve, which is probably great for you, once you solve one problem and create a solution and you get better at something, you're probably consistently finding other problems once you scale to here. Now it's like, I want to get to here. Now it's like, I want to get to here or here or here. Um, is that something that you've seen based on your experience and just how you've been able to, you know, learn and build out your art, uh, your art skills in this space that there's always going to be that next level that you can kind of, or that next rung of the ladder that you can try to climb? Yeah, I a hundred percent feel that. And I mean, you can, I, I can see it myself. I mean, in the, just in the time that we've been in the community, right. So like I, I we did our, um, our original art for H Barmery and even that collection was strung out over like six months. Right. So I had some of my original stuff that we did last Halloween. Um, and you can tell it's, it's a little more, um, you know, a little more less polished. And then we have like our Reaper drop for H Barmery. That's a lot more polished. You know, there's a lot more color usage and like different things. And I'm like, damn, okay. Like that's better. Um, you know, and I did the art for, uh, for moon shells for turtle, moon, uh, for turtle moon, um, oh, as wow, well, yeah. which, which I, I that, forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, which that was another, um, you know, like for me, that was such a tough project because it's just something I hadn't done before at the time. Um, and then with numbskulls moving into, into them as well. So it really is like, for me, it's 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 a lot of fun to to just keep learning and building on top of like what I, what I already have done. And it's kind of like that, uh, I don't know who said it. I want to say maybe it was like Matthew McConaughey or somebody, <laughs> you know, but you're like looking for that. You're always trying to chase like, what you can be right so like i'll see something and i'm like damn like i in my mind i think like i can't do that there's no way you know what i mean but then i'll try to do it and i, I might not be at the level of like what i've seen another artist do in, or in my mind like what they've done is better but i'm trying to achieve like that level if that makes sense you know what i mean i'm trying to to always get better 100 percent um, you know, moving forward, what partnerships or collaborations have you guys had so far in this space? And are there any that you're looking forward to in the near future? Yeah, we are. Um, we're actually 
actually this month I, I've got to um, turn in some stuff for we're going to be doing a, a Creamies collab, which will be interesting, um, which I don't, you're familiar with Creamies, correct? Yep. So yeah, we're, we'll be doing a, a Creamies collab with their, their lands project here. It'll be like, I think it's 13, 13 one-on-ones that we're going to do, which will be, that'll be one of the, the first like cross, uh, cross project utility collabs. I think that we do, which I think is really cool. I like, I like the idea they're, that they're doing the lands. It's got a little bit of a, a social media aspect to it. So I don't know how much I can say, I think they've revealed it as well, but essentially like you'll be able to, you, it'll be essentially an auction. You'll get an NFT from us and then you'll get, you'll get like a land from them. Um, and then they'll have all their utilities tied to it. So it's, it's really cool. I really enjoy I, the creamies guys crack me up. You have nothing but good say about, about the creamies guys. Glock and, and monkey dude is just like the, the ultimate personality, man. I had the opportunity to talk to monkey and do an interview a few days ago, <clears throat> probably three or four days ago. And he's like, I'm just going to give you a heads up. I'm a little tipsy. I was out for about an hour or two. <laughs> I was like, don't worry about it, dude. We've all been there in this space. I mean, and when you're working 24 seven, you know, you're, you're, you're dealing with the best, um, or you're dealing with people at a very, like, well, a lot of people at a very transparent level, like just because you're dealing with them throughout the time they wake up literally until the time that, that they go to bed with a minimal amount of sleep. So yeah, I've definitely talked to monkey. I had a chance to, uh, to talk to him a few days ago. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I know within the, um, is it Creamland or Creamy's Land? Uh, I started exploring that a few days ago as well. I think that's there's going to be some really interesting initiatives built around that. Um, how many team members do you guys have right now? I know you guys, uh, if you guys aren't familiar, I know you have Banks uh, and there's a few other individuals. But um, yeah, within uh, Pixel Land, where are you guys at as far as team right now? And then even like community contributors? Yeah, so we um, like myself, right? So I'm the artist. Um, Banks is, the, is a co-founder with me. She's helped me basically since H Barmery back in the day, um, helped me get a bunch of the launches off the ground. I mean, if doing, if you're, if you're a, a single person making a project and you're in back in those days, right. And you had to actually, you know, e e DM people on Twitter, send your trades over Twitter. You know what I mean? Like no launch pad and you do it by yourself, dude. I'm talking like I was working like 60 hours a week at the time. Then we'd be uh, staying up at night doing all this trade stuff. It's insane, dude. So having somebody like, um, Banks to help me out was like crazy. And she just like kept track of everything. D like did all this, did all this stuff to help me like not go off the deep end. And then Marty is, um, well, started off as a community member. Um, and then we brought him on the team and really Marty's like a jack of all trades. He does all kinds of stuff for us. Um, one, he's fantastic in the community. Dude's like, I don't know how he stays in discord as much as he does. And it's not just in our discord. He's in everybody's discord, you know, hanging out, building relationships. So everyone's got a ton of respect for him and he does a ton of stuff too. So between those two really like locking down the community aspect of the project and, and being essential and that it's really allows me to try and focus more on um, like the art side of stuff and, and really, uh, being creative and that sort of thing. So it's really just us three right now, but as far as community members, like I, I'm very biased in this, but I would say if you are in our community is in, in discord, uh, I would say that we have one of the more active discords in the, in the Hedera community and everybody in our discord is, is super cool. I mean, we've got like, I mean, cap from hot dog hustle is always around <laughs> Jolly llamas, uh, like just a bunch of community projects. And really, honestly, I don't want to say this is like a free show hour, but I mean, we do, it's it's really like a big family people come in there they post their art from other projects like we're not going to ban you for posting you know something that you're proud that you've been working on because the community in there is so small man like everybody is really tight-knit so it's like if you if you're an artist and you come in and you made something sick dude post it up like we'll talk about it we'll we'll, we'll hype it up you know so it's it's really interesting in that way and that's i guess i'm kind of going off topic here but that that really is like what what the project is to me and, and like our community, like we've got Red Bull um, as, a, as our admins, Red Bull, um, King Leo, a couple other guys <laughs> that are, uh, you know, just, just there all the time having a good time. And that, that's what it's all about. Yeah. And I think a lot of people uh, that might not have been in the Hedera NFT um, or really in the Hedera community in general, like last year, um, didn't really witness how much of the wild west that it truly was. And you mentioned the exact wallet and, I think it was was it Gomint um, <clears throat> or whatever the the first iteration of a marketplace was, uh, where essentially you had projects uh, minting NFTs and then one of one sending NFTs to the people that were willing to purchase them, like 
it was literally a trust-based transaction. Um, and you could extrapolate that out and really understand how many hours that took to facilitate. And yeah, I agree. Like uh, the Hedera, the Hedera community right now is is still very tight knit, but it's very interesting to me to like look at you know OpenSea and Rarible and things like that, where volume is essentially down 90, 95 percent since last year. And if you look at the Hedera ecosystem, and if especially some of the achievements that Hashpack and Zeus have accomplished, and now we see Dexes. Um, you know, I'm thinking of like Saucer Swap and even H Suite and um, oh, uh, Hel- uh, Hel- uh, Hel- uh, Swap. Uh, but the volumes on Zeus have been just, you know, there was milestones being broken literally during the depths of the, you know, what we would consider capitulation in the bear market. I think in like June or July, yeah. uh, Zeus hit 2 million H bar on a day, like in a day, right? Which is what, which was insane. Um, so it's, it's it's really interesting to see because I think the community still is very tight knit. I will say I see a ton of synergy uh, with what happened to like the Polygon ecosystem in like January of 2021, where I didn't think people were going to want to use that extra step um, on top of Ethereum to be able to uh, mint uh, NFTs cheaper uh, or more efficiently without the gas and, and X, Y, and Z. And, you know, I think it'll be really interesting to watch to see what happens with the Hedera ecosystem. Speaking of the milestones with Zeus, um, I wanted to ask you with any milestones and achievements that you guys have accomplished and any that you're looking forward to accomplishing, I have to preface it by saying, or allowing you to talk on what you guys just facilitated with numbskulls, which I believe sold out literally last night, the day of mint, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I I think it was about seven, seven or eight hours. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> accomplishments that you guys have achieved so far and what you're looking forward to, let's say, is there anything else that you guys are looking forward to within the end, prior to the end of this year as far as um, milestones or accomplishments? Yeah, I mean, definitely uh, for us, I mean, biggest biggest thing right now, I mean, obviously would be the fact that we sold out yesterday, which is just crazy. I mean, I, for me, I say it's all time, but I mean, it, it's like, dude, we're so blessed, right? Like people, people to to have a project and to one to have it sell out and then have the community uh, embrace us and have been embracing us since last year for me is just like i, I don't want to you know let that fall that we're not you know i i don't i understand the position that that puts me in and, and it's like dude i just feel so thankful for for that um that support you know what i mean but the the next thing coming up is is obviously the the creamies collab that i'm really looking forward to and then we really are uh, in a unique spot in the space right now um for us because like we really don't have a, a main dev on the team or we're definitely an art an art based project um you know i've dabbled around with uh some some of the uh, some of the game like gaming engines and things like that like we're definitely looking into certain certain aspects but what i think is really cool in the community is um you've got things like hbar space you've got uh, a bunch of devs that are making tools for for creators where you know if we were to choose to make a fungible token we could do that if we want to build out an ecosystem we could probably do that and it would definitely be within reach i'm not saying that that's what we're going to do but those are things that you know like we're a crypto based project right but i'm trying to be smart um or we're trying to be smart about how we do things um and i've been very educated over the last couple couple weeks too that like you know fungible tokens sometimes they you know they kill projects so maybe that's not the best way to go and and when and actually asked you know we've taken the route of being an art based project we've we've actually rewarded our holders with uh, um, you know airdrops and things like that quite a bit in the past which has worked out really well not only for them you know monetarily cuz they're collectibles but um it, it's just it's difficult right you want to you want to do the right thing as far as providing some type of uh extra utility i think there's some pressure for that but also at the same time i don't want to take away from the fact that like you know we have a really cool community based around um, art as well and i think we want to continue that um and then of course the basically the the big the big uh <laughs> the big you know target in the future for us right now is uh definitely working on uh basically an h barmery gen 2 i don't know if we're going to call it gen 2 but definitely that was how we started out um that'll be that'll be moving into uh, what I'm working on right after this Creamies Club. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. Uh, you know, the this kind of leads into where do you see the project in the next few years? Um, and I really like the mindset of under promise and over deliver. Uh, I mean, that's project product management 101. Um, and especially given kind of the regulatory uncertainty uh, <clears throat> that exists right now in this space, um, you know, 
I liked what you said. So, you know, releasing a fungible token uh, or something based on rewards or something surrounding itself within gamification or something surrounding itself within whatever. Um, it seems like that's not out of the question, but it's also something that why would you put it there uh, just for the sake of putting it there and having all these expectations being built out, not only from the community and ru potentially ruining what already exists, but just integrating it whenever it totally makes sense to do it. Is that kind of the mindset where if it makes sense, if the stars are all aligned, you know, we don't, we're not taking anything out of the question right now. Uh, that's kind of, is that kind of the plan with pixel land moving forward is just like watching this space play out. And then, you know, if there's an opportunity and an opportunity that makes sense and one that you guys can facilitate that, then it will be entertained. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a good way to put it. I mean, what, I wouldn't say we're necessarily like waiting for it to play out, but more, more so where just like, you know, does it actually make sense for us to do that? And, and is it really the right thing to do? Not only as the, as a project, but, but for, you know, the, the collectors in the community. Cause I would say like primarily, I mean, we do, we have a lot of people that, that are collectors. And I mean, I mean, we've been in, you know, we've been here since last year and it's like, I, I'll say like, you know, I, a week in crypto feels like a year, right? They say that, you know, that, and I agree. But as as a project, I mean, even with H Barmery, uh, man, we've seen I've seen our floors drop drastically, like multiple times, and then they come back. You know what I mean? And so, like, we've had times where we've had a drop that we sold for three hundred H, that dropped to one hundred and fifty, and then like right now the floor on those is like fifteen hundred. And I'm not trying to like brag on on floor price, but it, you know, it's to me, it's about just keeping it consistent across. Um, our goal across community. And I, I think for us, what makes the most sense and, and for me, right. Cause I, I, I want to keep making art I, and I want people to be able to collect the art and enjoy it. And that, that to me is what's most important. I, I like the idea of a fungible token. I, I would be cool to make a community where maybe we find some way to, um, you know, reward people some type of, let's say, farming or staking reward that they could use to to purchase art or something, you know, something like that, I think would be really cool. I'm not saying that that's what we're building. Um, but I don't know necessarily that, you know, does that make sense? Because in the past, we've rewarded people with airdrops that doesn't require a fungible token where we say, hey, we see this in your wallet. We took a snapshot. You're holding this. Um, you've been here for this amount of time. You know, we can give you that anyway. And so there's ways to do it, I think, where maybe we don't have to, um, you don't have to go about all that. But at the same time, like, that's kind of the fun of the ecosystem, you know, and, and there's some fear around it, like, you know, don't make a fungible token or the SEC is going to kill you type thing. And uh, it's it's interesting, man. Like I'm really, I am very much like enamored with the idea of of this kind of tech and the ecosystem. But I also don't want to do anything that's going to endanger the project as well. Yeah, it's a great point because I mean, essentially, once you release something like that, it's kind of a it's a no take backs type thing, right? If you, if you release something into the wild, it's there. Um, and, you know, I think what you guys have facilitated thus far and, you know, doing the doing the work from the art based standpoint uh, and if people enjoy the art, you know, you can certainly participate in the art by purchasing the art. Um, and I think there's going to be really interesting value propositions even around that, uh, you know, and I know this is kind of a a lot of people don't really get into the NFT aspect to the point where it's like, well, what intellectual property exists if I'm the, the, the purchaser of this art? Um, there's really interesting mechanisms mechanisms that are going to be flushing out like mainstream wise. We see it in Ethereum right now with kind of the board ape stuff and some of these other projects. We're going to see that on Hedera. We're going to see that on all these ecosystems as well, where, you know, people are going to be able to use that art in, in really interesting and unique ways um, that hopefully will even, you know, exist as kind of a derivative of the main project. But it'll be really interesting to watch business cases even surrounding that. Um, I wanted to ask you, you know, for anybody interested right now uh, in learning more about what Pixel Land is facilitating, uh, checking out the artwork, uh, looking at even like the the H Barmery aspects, looking at the Numskull stuff. Um, and I'm I'm still holding, by the way, as an offshoot. Before I get to that question, I'm I think I have a pro. I have a I have a couple of H Barmery helmets. <laughs> I've got my prototype still, and I'm like a historic. Um, I just like it's like hoarding. So like with uh with Hedera NFTs, I find a problem with hoarding where I just like accumulate them. This is not financial advice to anybody listening to this. Like I, if you don't love the art and you're not doing it for fun, uh, I don't recommend doing it in general. Um, but 
<laughs> just just my two cents, dude. Uh, for anybody listening or listening that is interested in learning more about Pixeland, H, uh, you know, some of the H Barmery aspects that you guys did before or numbskulls, where would you recommend driving people towards? What links um, are out there that exist for people to be able to, you know, learn more about the ecosystem? Yeah, number number one, um, I would tell you to go to you know Discord, uh, Discord, uh, was it Discord GG slash Pixeland? Okay. So that our discord is probably number one i mean you'll get a ton of help there right um so we do have the the custom link on discord just as pixel land um now, i would go two, there is that two l's bones so it'd be p-i-x-e-l-l-a-n-d right yes correct yeah and our we actually have our website we're working on that but it's it's uh binks and marty are, are like rebuilding it right now so it's you wouldn't be able to go there so i won't drop that i would just tell you to go to discord and there, there's a ton of uh channels there i know people discord's like a love or hate right some people hate it some people love it but there's a ton of ton of uh basically it's like a big website right we've got a bunch of channels in there that say you know here's your information this is how how it started here's a kind of a big rundown and then of course all the admins in there know everything so if you have any questions um come on in and even if you don't have questions if you want to come in and just you know and just bullshit with us you know feel free because we have a we have a good time in there but i will say to touch on what you said too i have this i have the similar issue i i'm like a big time order on nfts like don't take any financial advice from me on nfts i think i've sold like three in my entire life and i have like a wallet full of hundreds of them from all different projects you know what i mean like i i'm just i i like to collect stuff from people that i that i think is good art and good people so a hundred percent um and bones i want to let you lead us out with this so the last question isn't really a question um it's just allowing you to lead us out you know talk about where you think we might be in this space um where we might be going um kind of that heartstring moment like you have 30 30 seconds a minute however long it takes you know whatever you'd like to tell the audience that's going to watch this video i think would be fantastic yeah i would say you know for anybody from 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 myself as a personal view anybody who who wants to create or has a has an idea in their head i would tell you to 100 percent just like go for it and i think that that's really what web three is all about and there's a lot of great creators in the hedera ecosystem a lot of great devs in the ecosystem that are really facilitating this and i think the fact that you know we're creating ways for people to you know tokenize their thoughts and their their creativity for relatively cheap you know very cheap aspect of it um and and not only that it's very shareable because now we have these types of marketplaces so i would say if you're you know, a dreamer or a creator or somebody who has that, that wants to do something. If you think, you know, you can't, or you're worried what people, you know, people think I would tell you, you know, uh, I, I'd say, you know, I don't want to throw, you know, drop some uh, curse words here, but yeah, I would, I would say just go for it, man. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't let anyone, you know, tear you down because on, you know, the way that it is here in this ecosystem, you know, you can be, you can do things anonymously, uh, you know, for the, for the better, if, if you're somebody who doesn't want people to know who you are. And, and I, I relate to that on a, on a level too, where, you know, most people that are in my family in my real life don't know that I'm a creator on, on the internet, but I find a tremendous joy and, and satisfaction in um, having our community and having the artwork. So I think we're entering a time where, you know, it's, it, it's really freeing for people to be able to do what they want to do and express themselves in certain ways. 100% bones and you know uh that's the one thing that I've seen with the Hedera community and the builders and creators in the Hedera community as well that even more so than any other network that I've seen and I've talked I've been in you know a few different ecosystems before but um there's always like if you're curious about how to start in this space or where to go um I can say you know based on experience like just knowing all the builders in the Hedera community that people are willing to spend time even though they're so busy with their own projects, people are willing to spend time to help people that don't have experience or how to, how do I start doing this? You know, I've got an interesting idea. So, you know, but it, it, it starts with getting engaged at the minimal level in this ecosystem, um, even within the discord, like Bones said. So I appreciate your time, Bones. Uh, as always, it's a pleasure looking forward to, you know, the future collaboration with, uh, Creamies, um, and kind of the, the land aspects, uh, uh, one question real quick. Can I ask you one question before we end this? All right. I notice on the the numbskulls, the NFTs, because I picked up uh I picked up a couple of them. I see that there that it looks like there's artwork from potentially other 
NFT <laughs> yeah, yeah. Their ecosystem. Uh, can you confirm that? And can you maybe give a little bit of alpha about what that may or may not represent in the future? <laughs> okay. So yeah, the numbskulls. Um, so yeah, numbskulls, again, they are sold out. You can get them on Zeus right now. Um, the, the way that we went about that. So the, we have 15 projects, I guess, 14 technically counting. Um, Cause we did put an H barmery head on there, but we took, we put miniature art from projects in the ecosystem on the shirts. And the, the reasoning behind that was really just, I'm like, dude, you know, I'm a fan of the ecosystem. I love these projects. Let's, let's get as many shirts as we can um, to get the layers. in. so like, we've got creamies, lazy superheroes, uh, punks, H bar shadies, and they're, uh, all just little like miniature miniature figurines of of their project logo or something within their project that's recognizable um, on the numbskulls. I will say we did not intend to have any additional utility from these projects on there. However, um, Creamies has given out some cream to the guys that are you know that have minted those. So like the first ten people got like five thousand cream, um, and a few other projects have reached out to us and been like, hey, you know, what do you think about if we add some little extra utility to this? That is not financial advice. I don't know like if that's coming to fruition. So don't you know, maybe forget we said it. But I do think that you know maybe maybe there could be something to to come with that in the future. But it's a hundred percent not not was not the intent of it. It's just now people are kind of thinking you know, maybe, maybe we should add something to that, which I think is really cool. And just to throw two cents on that, you are seeing that in the ecosystem right now, there's projects that are, that are not projects that are outside of, let's say like uh, dead pixels, like dead pixels is getting utility for meta wizards now. So like, there's a lot of stuff like that that's happening where people are collectors and they're building utility for collections, which is just like, Dude, it's just wild to think about. I mean, and that's kind of the beauty of uh, decentralized Web three. You know, if you can't, if you want to do something and, and you want to be creative, man, you can't. I can't stop you, right? No, I appreciate the answer, dude. I have some ideas on the back end. Uh, I might be maybe I'll message you on the side here. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic to talk to you, man. I don't. I think that you and I, you and I have talked a couple of times before, uh, and I'm sure we'll, we'll definitely be talking again. Um, as always, it's a pleasure. And looking forward to the future uh, and everything you guys start facilitating. And um, tell Banks I said hi and everybody else that's on the team. And uh, it's been a pleasure, Bones. I'm looking forward to see uh, to talking to you again and seeing where, where it goes over the next couple of months here. So, Awesome, man. Yeah, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.